نحمد رسول کریم اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب شہلی سودری و یسر علی عمری واہل القداتم من لسانی یفق ہو قولی و جعلی وزیر من اخلی اللہ فکی ناف الدین آمین سم آمین السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ٹرانسلیشن سورت البقرہ ورس ٹو ٹوینٹی فائیو لا یوا اللہ لا ناٹ یو آ خو ذال واؤ خزو مینس ٹو ہولڈ ٹو ٹیک or to grab you are khidu the ya at the start shows that it is an imperfect verb for the third person masculine singular he takes he holds or he takes or holds into account and who does he take into account or hold into account kum you all So now if we join all the three words la yu akhidukumullah Allah does not take you all does not hold you all into what into account billaghwi bazir bi because of or with lagh Lagh means something which is useless, pointless, non-productive. It is, it is unintentional. Billaghwi, because of useless, pointless or non-productive. Fi in aymanikum. Ayman means aymanikum. oaths promises aymanikum your oaths walakin and but yu'akhidukum he holds or he takes you all to account or he takes to tasks the accountability bima because of or with what kasabat <coughs> kasaba means something which a person earns or gathers with his own activities or with his own hands kasabat is a perfect verb for the third person feminine singular and the diacast is fa'alat Asabat means they earned. What earned? Qulubukum. Your hearts. Qalb means the heart and qulub is the plural form. Wallahu and Allah is ghafoorun, most forgiving, halimun, ever forbearing. Verse 226. Lilladheena. Lamzirli for Alladheena those who Yu'luna Ila means a vow a swearing where the husband he swears or vows that he will not have any form of relationship physical relationship with his wife or he swears or vows for Alladheena abstinence of relationship with the wow you luna is an imperfect verb for the third person masculine plural they wow abstinence they swear that they will not have relationship with their wives men nisa ihim men from nisa women him there 
Now him here is a pronoun which is pointing towards the men who are making ila or the vow of abstinence. Tarabbasu, a waiting period. Raba swad means to wait. How much is the waiting period? Arba'atin ashhorin. Arba'a, four. This is a feminine noun. Ashhorin, months. Ashhorin is what? It is a masculine noun. Fa'in, fa, thus or then. In, if, fa'u. They returned. Perfect verb for the third person masculine plural. They returned. Return to whom? To their wives for which for whom they had vowed abstinence. For in Allah, thus indeed, or for sure, Allah is Rafurun, the most forgiving, Rahimun, ever merciful. Verse number 227. Wa and in if azamu ain za meme means to have a very focused a very strong determined planning azamu they were determined perfect verb for the third person masculine plural <coughs> they were determined to what Abbalaku, the divorce. Fa in Allah, thus indeed Allah is Samiun, ever hearing, Alimun, ever knowing. That is, uh, if you relate the two verses, it means that if a husband makes a vow of abstinence of relationship with his wife, then the waiting period is four months. In these four months, if the husband returns and uh, establishes relationship with the wife, then obviously Allah forgives us and he's merciful. And uh, But if the husband is determined that he is in any case going to divorce the wife and he does not return to the wife, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is all listening and all knowing. And Allah knows his intentions and Allah has heard what he has made the vow of of abstinence. Verse number 229. The root word is Tualam Kaf Tolak. Tolak means divorce. Mutwallaka. Mutwallaka is the woman who has been divorced. Mutallakat is the plural. Wa and Al Mutwallakatu. And all those women who have been divorced, yatarabbasna, raw ba swad, to wait, waiting period. <coughs> ya at the start shows that it is an imperfect verb. So they should wait for a period or they should stop themselves for a period be anfusihinna by themselves, by their souls. How much? Salasa taqru. Salasa means three. This is a feminine noun. Qruin. This is a masculine plural noun. Qruin. Menstrual cycles or menstrual periods. Wala and not. Yahillu. Halam lam. Permissible. Lawful, allowed. Ya at the start shows that it is an imperfect uh, verb for the third person masculine singular. Wala yahillu. And it is not lawful. It is not permissible. La hunna. La for hunna. This is a pronoun. And it is pointing towards the women who have been divorced. And it is not lawful, lahunna, for them, an, that, yaktumna, kaf, ta, meme. Katama means to conceal, to hide. 
ya at the start shows that it is an imperfect verb and uh, the noun at the end uh, clearly proves that it is for the third person feminine plural yaktumna they conceal they hide ma what khalaqallah allah has created khalaqa is a perfect noun for the third person masculine singular allah has created fi in arhamihinna ra ha mim raham means the womb or the uterus where the where the conceptus slides and the conceptus uh, lands there and the pregnancy continues there arham is the plural of raham arham wombs hinna is a pronoun for the third person feminine plural arham hinna their wombs and whose wombs it is the women who have been divorced in if kunna they were yu minna they believe billahi in or with allah wal yawmil akhiri and the day of judgment or the last day wa and barulatahunna barulatuhunna ba ain la means the spouse of a woman the husband barul is the plural so this is a masculine noun hunna is again the pronoun which is pointing towards these divorced women a pronoun for the third person feminine plural baru latuhunna means the husbands of those women they are what a hakku they are the most rightful they have the greatest right of what bi raddi hinna mazir bi with or in raddi taking back taking back hinna them so allah is saying that when there is a matter of divorce but the husband wants to take back the divorced wife then he has the greatest right of deciding that he can take her back fi zalika in that that is what it is a demonstrative pronoun and have when can they take them back in if aradu ra waw dal means to make an intention to plan something to want to do something to have desire to do something aradu is a perfect verb for the third person masculine plural they intended they wanted they planned islahan reconciliation or patching up wala hunna and la for hunna these women their wives mislu same or similar allazi that which alayhinna ala upon hinna them bil ma'ruf bazir bi in or with ma'ruf what is recognized recognized what is the acceptable norm what is the reasonable manner wa and lir rijali lam zir li for rijal now ra jim lam means the man a man rijal is the plural of rajul and this means men walir rijali and for the men alayhinna upon them hinna is a pronoun which is pointing towards the women folk that is for the men folk 
upon the women folk there is what darajatun a grade a degree wallahu and allah is azizun ever almighty hakimun ever wise now after completing these verses i will be repeating the verses for you to catch up any of the words you've left off verse number 225 la yu'akhidhukumullah allah does not take you all to account allah does not hold on to you billaghwi with or because of useless pointless non productive unintentional fi aimanikum in your oaths walakin and but you are khidukum he takes you all to account he takes you all to task of accountability bima because of what with what kasabat they earned qulubukum your souls your hearts wallahu ghafurun halim and allah is most forgiving ever forbearing lilladina for those who yuluna they vow abstinence they swear staying away min nisaihim from their wives or from their women tarabbasu arba'ati ashhurin a waiting period of 4 months fa in then if fa u they returned fa inna allah ghafurur rahim then or thus indeed allah is most forgiving and ever merciful wa in and if azamu they were determined attalaku in what in the divorce fa inna allah samiun alim then indeed allah is ever hearing ever knowing wal mutallaqatu and all those women who have been divorced ya tarabbasna they should wait for a period be anfusihinna with or by themselves or with their souls and how much should they wait salasa taqru three menstrual cycles or three menstrual periods wala yahillu and it is not permissible it is not halal it is not lawful lahunna for those women for them an that yaktumna that they or those women they conceal or they hide ma khalaq allah what allah has created fi in arhamihinna the wombs of these women or their wombs in kunna if they were you minna they believed billahi in or with allah wal yawmil akhiri and the last day so what actually this verse means that when women are being divorced then the waiting period or iddat is three menstrual cycles and in these three menstrual cycles 
it is not permissible or halal or lawful for these divorced women that they conceal or they hide or they keep secret if they are holding a conceptus of the divorcing husband in their womb or if they are pregnant by the divorcing husband they should not conceal or hide the pregnancy if they are believing women and the husbands of these women and their husbands they have the greatest right they are the most rightful of what in taking these women back in taking them back in that that when do they have the permission to take them back in aradu if they intended or they planned or they wanted islahan reconciliation that is if the husband after divorcing he is actually interested in reconciliation then he is the most rightful and he has the greatest right of deciding to take her back and for these women and for them mislu is the same or like allazi that which alayhinna is upon them bil ma'rufi in the recognized way in the reasonable acceptable manner rajali and for the men alayhinna upon them upon these women darajatun is a grade is a degree wallahu and allah azizun is ever almighty hakimun and is ever wise meaning that if allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given the men folk a, a one a few degrees greater than the women folk then allah is almighty and he is wise and there is wisdom in the decision made by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he has made the men one degree above the women صدق الله العظيم ربنا لا تزغ قلوبنا بعد إذ خديتنا وحب لنا من لدنك الرحمة إنك أنت الوهاب سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك نشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت نستغفرك ونتوب عليك سبحان ربك رب العزة أما يصفون والسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين آمين سمامين